In this lecture, we're going to add a footer to our application. So at this point in time, we currently have this header bar at the top here. We have some cards. We have a pagination control, but I want a footer below all of that. So inside of our default dot handlebars, we could go ahead and add a footer tag. But as always, I want to create a new partial so we can inject that and also so we can keep everything separated. So let's make a footer.hbs. Inside of here, we'll add a footer with the class of footer and also is centered because at this moment in time, I want everything to be centered. Inside of our footer, we'll add a div with the class of container. So we'll add a container to our footer. And then perhaps we'll add a div with the class of columns. So we'll add some columns once again, and we can add a couple of columns. So we'll add a div with the class of column, and we'll do that twice. In both cases, for now, we'll have a H1. We'll give that the class of title, and we will simply say hello. And in our other column, just to get things rolling, we'll add this one with the text of world. If we save that and then head back over to default.hbs, we can then add the partial for our footer in the same way as we did our header. So let's then add two handlebars. We'll then also add the greater than sign and we'll add footer. Once we do that and save our file, you can see that we have these two columns. And at this moment in time, the text is not centered. So that's why it looks a little strange. So we can go ahead and inside of our column, we can also give the class of title and also has text centered to our H1. And we'll do it in both scenarios. So we now have a footer at the bottom of our screen. Let's add some content to that footer. So I'm going to add a footer that allows us to display recent posts and also featured posts. Let's take a look at that in the coming lectures.